It's just like me when I play like fucking uh What's it called? Detroit become human, man. Like I just I just screw up all of the you know. Ugh. At least at least I didn't screw up with on. I have I have, I have one girlfriend at least, you know, and better than none, I suppose. Well, if I get my charm up to level 5, I think I can still I still I still have more um I think I still have more of Makoto's persona to work on, so I guess there's potential there, maybe. Or maybe the red haired chick too, I I don't know. I am indeed recording, we're good. Okay. Shall we test tonight? Oh man. I see, I already know I screwed up, dude. I'll be very, very careful. No, no more messing up. Mammal Son, are you sure you're gonna be okay? I can sense it by looking at your face. The death ore is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Let's do a ver verification test. Your fate is very interesting, so I'd like to try a different fortune telling technique. I've gone through all my books. Maybe I need that or some out of. Maybe I need some that are out of print. Where can I find some? I'm gonna invite her to a library. It's just, it's just like me in real life, you know? Always dropping the ball with the ladies. It's tough. The price at a used bookstore are all so low. There's a lot here. Which ones would be good as a reference? Autobiographies of great people. Dude, Silent Library was a banging show, dude. It was so good. You know those self-help books? With those, you feel like reading them is enough. You end up not actually helping yourself. I'd like to learn the ideas expressed in those books and use them to help my customers. That's a good idea. A fortune-telling specific shop? Let's go check it out. Let's. You know... Maybe it's the universe's way of telling me that I should be loyal, okay? Good morning. Maybe I maybe I screwed up for a reason. Um Have you been well... sleeping well? You look kinda tired. Alright, it's a weird way of saying I look like shit, but okay. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? I'm fine. Yes. Well, alright then. Oh that reminds me, the school festival is tomorrow, isn't it? I had no idea that the preparations would take so much work. Working with everyone to put uh, everything together feels great. I hope we all have fun tomorrow. I'm gonna do some training today, so please excuse me. Hey. You hear we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kinda saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he was gonna make any more he wasn't gonna make any more appearances though? Why do you agree to come here? It probably because he knows I'm a phantom thief. Akechi's very suspect, dude. He totally knows. He totally knows. Mm. They just say whatever they want with no thought, but for now we'll need to endure it. At least we can get some more intel. Oh, yes. Listen. I'm gonna keep it a buck. 100%. I had some leftovers for dinner. Not agreeing with me. I will be right back. I'm gonna feel so much better. It's gonna be, I'll, I'll be right back ASAP.
What did I miss? <clears throat> what is a key reason our memories can differ from reality? Memory bias? This is it. God, I'm so right. smart! The phenomenon in question is called false memory. Like the name implies, it's a case where our brain may generate memories that simply aren't true. Nice going. Hey, have a good night, relapse. Peace out, dude. Hmm. The difference between inaccurate memories and the facts can lead to a lot of confusion. Still, if your subconscious desire manifests a memory, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. False memories, huh? But it's totally real to the person, right? What a strange concept. Hey chat, you guys remember that one time that I was really handsome? And you all laughed at my jokes? That was real, right? How did I do? I'm the top of the class! Okay. That's amazing. Everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. I know, I know, I know, okay. I know, I know. Yo, my charm leveled up! You were debonair! Let's go! Okay! We're, we're charming and we're knowledgeable. God damn. All right. Well, now I can, I think, progress on Makoto's story. I think. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi declines our offer, he won't have a guess. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it'll be fine. I just need to get Akechi-kun to agree to this somehow. Yup. What's he up to anyway? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Uh, hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Uh, great. I feel, I feel much better. Why is a catchy Welcome here? Home. Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. He didn't think it was funny. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. Oh, I remember that guy. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This and you is believe an him? important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Man, this guy is admirable. Mm -hmm. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Mm hmm I feel like I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. 
That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals Shot him down. Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. True nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? No, it couldn't though. the Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Akechi's coming around. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Akechi totally knows. He totally knows. That kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Whoa! Come on, Dad. I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi. He accepted the lecture. Well done. Thank you. The first step is done at least. Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift? They say first impressions are everything. I don't know if we'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. You want to come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all be able to walk around together tomorrow. That sounds good. At a time like this, this is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've always dreamed of walking around my, uh, my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can re I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Friends. All right, surely we go see Hafumi. I'll be at the church again today. However, I'd like to speak with you if that's all right. Hafumi seems troubled. Do you want to go see her? See, I've okay. I gotta be careful now because I feel like this is gonna be important. Okay, we can't screw this up. Good evening. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood for a match right now. I can't teach you shogi. Or rather, from now on. I'm at checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. With my overflowing knowledge, I might be able to show Hifumi her next move. Aha! I'm so smart. What? You'll help me think? Thank you. Actually, before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should I lose if I should I lose my upcoming exhibition match. My mother told me that I should lose. I don't understand. It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women and as a result get more female fans. Then, when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. I'm so, I'm like so scared to mess it up, bro. Do you intend to lose? By no means. However, people do love a good comeback story, especially in the world of Shogi. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's, it, it's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She 
said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into Shogi. And then once I become famous, I can quit it and make money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my Shogi career is so she can profit off me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However, Losing on purpose is wrong, even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden. I don't want to turn my back on Shogi. Let's make her reconsider. <sighs> if only that were possible. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity through me. I highly doubt she would ever reconsider. What's your mother's name? Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I see. I see, I see. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Fan thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Well, Elite Mike, if I can play about 40 hours tonight, uh, sure. Stuff? I guess. There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. 40 hours in one night. Let's go! <laughs> it's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. This'll be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I well, that's all right, Elite Mike. Follow me. Yeah, it's like we're at the state fair, pretty much. Give me a corn dog. This is the place. Made takoyaki? New customers. I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? What? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then. I I'll want the a corn dog. Takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. Then how about the squid? Um... We're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. Uh, uh. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. Ryuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? 
That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. He did know too much. I kept hearing about that big old egghead of his. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Hell no. I'm of the same mind. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait! Ooh, it's fresh made! Lies! I heard a microwave go off! Oh. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Well, I prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. Oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going Full for Full send, it? Haru. Do you want to go for the red one? Full send. I'll take it. Everyone's all here. Oh shit. It's that boy. The, the panel isn't until oh, tomorrow, no. though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. What? <gasps> the special Don't eat the special one. one! That one's mine! Let's just call this my performance fee. That's mine! But... It's fine. Mm. It's quite the... <clears throat> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> my throat. This is... Uh, oh, my stomach. It burns. Are it's like me eating a, a Carolina Reaper. I, I, I'm I'm fine. I just love a uh, spicy spicy stuff. Mammal IRL when he eats flaming hot hey, Cheetos. Yo, does that's he sound the truth. Broken to you? That's the fucking truth. Well then, I'll I'll see you uh, t -t tomorrow. <laughs> Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Nah. He knows. Oh, this isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? You're here just No, he knows. Things. This dude, this dude is 100% knows who we are. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. 
I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. Wholesome. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Yusuke is missing. Where did he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out the festival? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. That's a spick, man. Why, why would they mention that unless something bad happened? Oh, here we go. Um. Excuse me, you are Dr. Maruki, correct? Uh, yes. I. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've, gro I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ryu... Oh! Sa Sakamano and Takamaki? Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you, you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct! Now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its, its endless abyss. Hold on. Okay, alright, dial it down, pal. Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. How about it? How about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Hmm? Of course, there'll be no charge. All you have to do is chat with me for a little bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but there won't be any of that. I see. So you were Madarame. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh... I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examinings in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I, can, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that, but life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, without them even realizing it. I, if I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with me. Oh, yes. Before you go, what would you say is your greatest wish in life? Would it be success as an artist? I. No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see then, what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Well, that's wholesome. All right. Thank you. That's wholesome, AF. Well, then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth, Akechi's panel. See what he said about us. Apologies for suddenly disappearing. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there. Did you go to see his did you go to his counseling? Yes. It was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any troubles, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm, I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi's panel after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. 
That's true. We all need to stay focused. That's actually really funny, Robin. It's a, it's a good move on their part to use it for a little bit, you know? Photo time! The squad. I think this is my first time having Yaka Soba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I imagined. Don't know why, but food from a food stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us? How about the one you took of Virgin's Yakasoba with the re big red mountain of ginger? No, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. What? No photos of the boys. That's sad. Oh, I already watched the movie. I guess I could increase my, uh, my proficiency. Can we hang out with Dad? Yo. How these exams go? Perfect. Oh. Then maybe you don't need this. Oh well, take it. LeBlanc charm. <laughs> I wanted to give it to you before the exams, but well, we still have more tests. Don't let up on the finals. Thanks, Dad. Hey. Well then. Wait, did I max out my kindness? No, not yet. No, no, no. I maxed out my Ooh. charm. Very nice. Hey. Very kind of person. I like his name. I'm Ain't sure Goro that dude from Mortal Kombat? Yes. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it's as if you're a prosecutor. <laughs> This game is long as fuck. Is that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust. Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if the 
this is all hypothetical, mind you. Nah, I'd, I'd say I'm probably more like two thirds, but. I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. What? Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. Oh my. Drama! He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. But are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion. So announcing that oh, no. pose a problem. Oh no! However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. Watch him just name drop I'd all like of us. He could have I'm pause evidence. champing. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? What, dude? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Whoa! Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Oh no. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? <laughs> Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. Oh, jeez. Yo, what's he gonna do with the other 9 minutes and 30 seconds? What do you want to talk about? No. That's gotta be shocked. I have video footage, too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world, too. Yes. What are you talking about? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the nav. He's got the nav app. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. I'll take your silence as confirmation. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case, but to think it would end up like this. Hmm. We didn't kill anyone. I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. Oh. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on after The story all. is getting Actually, juicy. When I took these photos. I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. Guy has a persona too. This cat. Join the squad, Akechi. I swear, it just 
talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. <laughs> really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana, were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Didn't do oh. shit. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. Correct. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake. Which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like this you is to blackmail with me on investigating the this truth. This is blackmail. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Thank you. Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that sai -san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on sai -san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. sai -san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel they like They just need it? to blame somebody. We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. We'll help him find the, yes. uh, the guilty fella. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves Oh, fuck this. off! What do you mean? What should we do about akechi sans proposal? Is that the only way? I can understand how you feel. It must be hard making a decision on the spot like this. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel. Correct? Well... My business is yeah. concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! They're gonna boo us off the stage. Hey, they're going. What? Huh. I'm sorry about the sudden break. An urgent task came in. So, I truly apologize about this. But I'll have to end things here today. To make up for the time that was planned for this panel, the Rakugo Research Club will instead be... I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves investigation, but I feel another great stride will occur again soon. I hope you all continue to pay attention to what happens. 
Let's have a big round of applause for today's guest, Goro Akechi. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? What else are we gonna do, bruv? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. How? We either accept the deal or we go to jail. Similar like occurrences what? followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? Oh no. If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume oh, no. that the Phantom Dad's Thieves Dad's gonna find it. out. Oh no. If so, those occurrences back in spring to tell everybody. Fuck to it. them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh god. Oh no, he's gonna he's oh no, he's gonna blow it. He's gonna the blow it. The festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Host festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post festival party? I'm not sure yet. Then why don't we go together? Peepo shy. Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai. Oh god. I don't know how to dance. Oh no. And now, it's time for your favorite shooting tradition. The student sharing special. Huh? Oh no. Reminds me of our college fundraisers. I don't think we did anything like this. Let's bust a move. Why am I standing still? Come on. Come on. Move those move those hips. Let's go. I'm st I'm still standing still. Come on. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Very impressive, Senpai. Okay. <laughs> I'm straight up fucking vibe, please. Hey, you're Yoshizawa's son, right? The first year. We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. something and just wait here and watch what happens <laughs> dude vibe please is so good That's 
crazy. Poggies. We ballerina now. Oh god. Ah oh, jeez. Ah oh, jeez, not me. Oh god. I love the party with Kasumi to cool off a bit outside. Oh no. I probably gotta be careful. Oh god. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. For it's so hard. I can tell. Don't overthink it. I can tell. Uh, thank you. Wow. That dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Want me to walk you? Surely. Thank you. I'll be all right though. Damn. The post festival party was so much. Swing fun, and a miss. Especially with you. See you soon. Oh, now dad's gonna yell at us, though. Oh, no, I'm scared. Sorry, hold on. I have to answer my text. I don't know what it said. Mammal responding IRL the immersion. Are you still at school? Okay. You want to go to the post festival party and try to calm down? We ob. We obvious. Oh God! Wait. Uh. We obviously go with On. She's our girlfriend. Clearly, it's the clear choice. We don't. We we don't. We do not hang out with the boys. Surely not. Surely not. Not even a real one, bro. All right, that was a great performance by the dance club. Everybody give them another round of applause. <sighs> oh, sorry. I was just worried about the whole thing with the catchy coon. We're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. It actually feels like that's the truth when you say it. I know, I know. And now it's time for your favorite Shujin tradition, the student sharing special. Round of applause, everyone. <sighs> They're really doing this again this year. All right, who has something to say? Anyone? Anyone? No? I'll just have to pick someone. Oh, me. Pick number three, my lord. I guess this disorder really makes the post-festival party what it is. How about the girl in the hoodie with the super bleached hair? Huh? Me? Well then, come on up. What should I do? He's calling you. Oh, you're so good. 
What? I date a drug addict. Oh, she's gonna blow it. Oh, oh. no. Man, he's going in for the kill. We're all dying to know what Akechi-kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Takamaki-san? What do I think? On is in trouble. I need to change the subjects. Uh -huh. Oh, God. I can almost see... Wait, what? I can almost see them, what? Surely we go for the third one. We either go... I don't know, it's either, either the first or the third one. Fuck it. Yeet! I saved it. Surely. It's finally over. Oh, why are we up on the uh, roof now? Oh no. Was embarrassing. I can't believe you had the courage to stand up and say that in front of everyone. Huh? Okay, right choice. So you did it to help me. Right choice. How good are we? At any rate, I had really frozen up for a second there. So, thanks. You were a huge help. You know, you're actually a pretty dependable guy. I know. I it's think we'll be okay. good together. You know, it's okay. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> Talking about the future. <laughs> That's a bit too heavy for right now. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Stop that. <laughs> I'm still worried about a catchy gun. But this post festival party actually turned out pretty fun. I um I want you to have this. Hmm. <laughs> That's not what I expected it to say. Why does it say that? <laughs> I just really did. Of all the fucking, of all the fucking words for it to say on the screen right now, <laughs> that is literally the last fucking thing I thought it was gonna say. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, what the fuck? I can't wait to eat it. Oh my god. I hope you like it. That's so funny. Wanna head home together? <laughs> I'm texting Robin right now. Where the fuck my cream puffs at, yo? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What? No shot you what just that? typed that it's XXL. No fucking shot. To find you, but what is I happening? Quickly. Oh my Dabba? god. What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. It's okay, chat. It's within the context the of a friendship. Has been causing Jared consents. Lately. No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations oh, no. for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. That's understandable. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, yeah. contact me immediately. Yesterday. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Fuck. Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Look at that grin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Sojiro? Oh no. I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online too. Things are serious now. Into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Dad's Explain. pissed. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they Zoe. trigger a change Zoe. of heart in you? So he just farted <laughs> so much. That's gonna smell terrible, I bet. How about it? Ever since mom died, I... there was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. 
It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about all Come around, Dad. Cognition. Come on. Come around, Dad. I wondered about it myself, too. It's still. When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. <laughs> Even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. Good dad, I after all. Of his research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day. I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. Are you winning, but son? One of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves. Do we tell well. Dad the whole thing? Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Sorry for keeping quiet. <sighs> we may as well just tell them. You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Not like that, though. Not, you know, that sounds... Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? This is no joke. Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Dead ass, B. Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro. So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. So now you're an accessory, pal. I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense. Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro. Come around, dad. Come on. When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? That's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. 
I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention okay. of or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. He knows everything? You gotta be kidding. Are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if he wasn't okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case, we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown and the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Someone very powerful. It would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for them too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. Yeah. Fishing explosives on Kraken is great. Very great. Sorry. It's all good, yo. Uh, uh. You can sleep on the sofa. Hey, wait! Shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? Surely we work out. Yep. Yep. Okay, hey. surely we go to bed. Well then. We're down to 20% approval, man. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. Oh, damn. And have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million That's yen. a lot of money. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? There was no choice. I didn't know it would. Actually. I see. Well. How do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, alright? Don't worry. I won't sell you out. 
As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. He'll be alright. Did you this see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! I can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to this school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. The 30 million yen, man. It's a lot of money, yo. I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing in here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. We're wanted now, and the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> It feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. We were all set up. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap. It's nothing of the sort. It's they genius. Majad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. Chill out, Yusuke. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? They baited us. That's all it is. It's probably because... We weren't acting like ourselves. Madge. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah. That really is it. I was... so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Well, you know what mammal rage looks oh, like? Oh. Damn it. You could make you could make I a dragon fire shield out of mammal rage's face. A complete idiot that's a that's a draconic still, visage face. It's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. 
However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Probably not, yo. Should we end this now? I mean, oh, it's mammal it mad. For everyone. Sorry. Hey, what should we do? Let's turn the tables. Inspiring yeah. speech. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. I know how you feel. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. Things will turn around. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. I got a message from Akechi. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want any more dis anyone disturbing our, our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. We'll see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Legit. You could you could slap that face on a on a DFS. Okay. That could be a that could be a thing. Oh, you wanna do it? Wait, can I leave? Oh, Training it, it is! Yes! And let's see. Yes, I will take the HGH. Thank you. Tasty. Now, let's carry out our plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice going. All right. Max HP increased by five. All right. And another two. Well then. Good. All right, let's see what Akechi's got to say. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this! Let us end this chaos! Through my hands and yours! He's a politician of the ruling party. This is the he? dude that got me in trouble at the start of the game. Party, so an election might come this is the dude who was end. assaulting that woman. I'm gonna vote this time for and sure. Then I, I was like, this yo, man has fuck my off. Support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Actually, it's just never interested in me before. 
But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? You might. Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! Yeah. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai Sun. Oh! I've already discovered that she has a palace. Oh, damn. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You Bastards. saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. The big bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? She'd be at risk. I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. Hmm. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. So they find Nikola, the real culprit and then we have to disband. All this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, hmm. doesn't he remind you of us? True. Join us, bruv. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? 
Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask Akechi this. Akechi is a generic AF anime character. He could be from Naruto. Cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart. We will. Thanks. I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Wait, we're gonna go talk to her now and oh my. This is getting intri intriguing. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. Is so okay. You became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That's that right. This makes sense, more or less. Not right. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey, you need to keep your focus. Sorry. It seems you're completely Damn. worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Justice wins in the end. Okay. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with integrity. you. Integrity. Ain't got no integrity. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. 
Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Okay. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. What? A girl shouldn't say things like that. But... You tell her too. What else can you dig up? Well, like her history with men. Okay. You're phantom thieves! Okay. <laughs> Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. The hell was that? Where are we meeting today? Oh right, we were ne we were told we were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Where's that? Hint, the government office district. Indeed. I've never I've never heard of that place. Never been there though. I've heard of that place, but I've never been there though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The police Department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Secu Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. What kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechi, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So you're just going to plunge head first into enemy territory. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. You can tell it because the way it is. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy. As well as the Sakura residents. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! Uh. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. Uh. I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. Uh. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? Yep. That man just got doxxed. We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. 
Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then. How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. Casino? I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Conditions have not been met. Yeah, the combat is turn based, yeah. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> yes, seems like we're going very, very low profile. Holy... Yeah, it has like anime cutscenes. It's pretty cool. The courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that the police station? Yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Uh, are made I think average pieces. playthrough time, yeah, is like a hundred hours for royal. Sent on loan to the police. We got no business. I'm like cops, right? 67 hours in. I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Wait, I feel like I remember this. I feel like I remember like the first little action part I did in the intro of the game. I was in a casino. I feel like it, I think it's finally like connecting back and then I'm excited to see what happens like once we move forward, you know? Once we're back to, uh, to, you know, live rea reality, you feel me? Like I'm past the flashbacks. I did say, right? Uh, question. I mean, I don't, I don't imagine I'll ever play them, but like, even if this is like a big spoiler, it's like Persona Four, Three, Two, One, whatever. Is it also about the Phantom Thieves or like similar type or like, you know what I'm saying?
It's not Phantom Thieves. Okay, so it's it's a it, this is separate to this game. Cool. I see. I see. I see. 